how to zero gap your clippers in less than five minutes. It's crazy that we've done a bunch of videos on how to do fades, lineups, and beards and everything, but we haven't elaborated much on how to zero gap your clippers to get the best performance out of them. So in this video, we're gonna explain exactly why we zero gap our tools, and then we're gonna show y'all step by step how to do so, because if done right, y'all be able to get the most sharpest performance out of y'all's clippers. But if done wrong, y'all could potentially kill y'all's clients. Nah, I don't think you can kill them. Okay, well, if done wrong, y'all could potentially cut them and then it'll get infected and then maybe later die in the hospital. <laughs> no? No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, be, well, if done wrong, then maybe y'all just cut them really bad and then you'll end up fighting with your client. <laughs> And then maybe and then they, die. they die because you win. But don't panic because we're going to make this as simple as possible. Make sure you watch to the end. So go get your coffee, do 100 push-ups, do whatever you got to do. And let's jump right into this tutorial. It looks like I'm going to do a magic trick. For this first trick, I'm going to make Adrian disappear. <laughs> All right, guys. So to start, you're going to want to go ahead and grab your clipper and make sure that the lever on the side is in the closed position. So by factory setting, most of these tools always have the back blade or the steel blade a little bit higher. All we're gonna do is loosen up the screws in the back and then just slide down that steel blade as close as possible, but just make sure that you don't pass too much down that cutting blade. That's what's gonna potentially cut the skin. So just make sure you loosen it up and then just bring it down as close as possible, but leaving a tiny zero gap between these two blades so that when you cut, you can get it as close as possible to the skin. So I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I do that. Just go ahead and loosen up the screw, but I'm not gonna twist too many times. I'm gonna just exactly just twist one time on each side. And then you'll notice that from there, you'll be able to move the blade around, but you see how it's not wiggling around? I'll move it and it stays in that position. So that's why, that's the purpose of me not loosening up the screw all the way. You want it to still be tight enough to where when you move it, the blade stays in place. And once you do that, just go ahead and slide that back blade as close as possible to that cutting blade. But like I said, just make sure it doesn't pass it up. And then once you find a good position, make sure that it's leveled. Look at it from both ends. And once you're comfortable with that position, go ahead and just tighten it. But don't tighten one side completely all the way because I've noticed that when I do that, sometimes it'll throw the blades out of alignment. So I'll tighten up one side and then I just pivot back and forth until the screws are as tight as possible. And then from there, just go ahead, take a good look at your tool move the lever up and down and just make sure that they're not making any weird noises when you turn them on. Most of the time, if they make a weird noise after you turn them on and after you try to adjust them, it's because maybe they're not balanced or they're not even. So just make sure that if they do make a noise, just go ahead, repeat the process, loosen up the screw again, adjust and balance out, level out the blades and then just tighten them again, pivoting from back and forth from each screw. And once you're done, it's a good idea to test these tools out maybe on your hand. You can kind of feel back and forth with your finger, make sure it's not too sharp. And then also go ahead and test them on the inner part of your arm just to make sure that they're not scratching or if it feels like it's cutting on your skin. If it hurts you here, most, most likely it's gonna hurt them if you're in their neck area. Lube them up with some clipper spray and then you're ready to go. But that's pretty much it for zero gapping your clippers. Now my brother's gonna step in and show y'all how we zero gap our trimmers. All right guys, so thankfully enough, Babilis has stepped it up with their equipment and provided these simple tools with their trimmers. This is gonna go right into that back part. This is gonna help us push that front blade. So just like my brother was saying, you wanna get this front blade as close as possible to the back steel blade. But in this case, instead of moving the back blade, with this tool that Babilis provided, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up these front screws and then we're gonna push the cutting blade up. So you wanna start with one side and just loosen them up, just about half a screw or so. My tool is already in position, so go ahead and put a little bit of tension up and just like that. You wanna start retightening from just one side at a time and take it over to the other side. A few, a few twists on every side until we get that as tight as possible. And just like that, this tool really does help you can go ahead and step back and run your fingers in this forward position. If you do feel that front teeth, that means they're a little too sharp. So you can go back in there and readjust them and also test them in the side of your forearm. So that pretty much wraps it up on zero gapping your trimmers. Just keep in mind though that some trimmers don't have the accessibility to these front screws. So you are gonna have to adjust from the back end just like my brother did on the cutting clipper or on the fading clipper. So that pretty much wraps it up on how to zero gap your clippers and trimmers in less than five minutes. Let us know down in the comments if y'all enjoy this type of content or let us know what other type of tips y'all like to see on this channel so that we can 
bust it out on the next video for y'all. So with that being said, guys, my name is Adrian Baron. My name is Sergio Baron, and we're gonna catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Peace. Well, the video starts off. I don't question it. Go pay the culture. Before we start, make sure y'all. What'd you say? Crispy You'll get the lime. sharpiest. Yeah, sharpest line. The sharpiest. Bunch of videos on how to fade. Oh, fuck, I can't find my bucket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how to zero gap. Oh, my brain. Right, close it. <laughs> if done right, add up y'all's tools. Damn, I said tools too many times. <laughs> but if potentially done wrong, y'all could potentially fuck so that y'all can give y'all's clients as. What was I going with that? So you could achieve a sharp. <laughs> you want your clients to die? No, okay, so your clients won't die, but they'll be scratched up and uh, they'll be 